हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु गुप्ता एंड आई हैड सिक्योर्ड अ रैंक ऑफ 62 इन नीट पीजी 2018 सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू हाउ यू विल गो अबाउट विद योर फाइनल ईयर प्रिपरेशन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द नीट पीजी एग्जाम बिकॉज़ रिसेंटली आई हैव बीन गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स सर हाउ डू वी प्रिपेयर इन द फाइनल ईयर सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ यू विल प्लान योर ईयर व्हाट कंटेंट यू हैव टू रीड what books you have to read how many hours you have to study daily so let us begin our discussion so guys the first point that i want to discuss with you is that is next preparation different from neat pg preparation guys i want to tell you there is no difference in the preparation in final year for the next exam or neat pg exam in the final year our aim should be that we have to build our concepts we have to read standard textbooks and we have to practice few mcqs if any student is able to do that he is able to make his concepts he is able to read his books no matter what type of question is asked in the exam whether it is a clinical question whether it is a mcq based question whether it is a fact based question you will be able to answer it okay so your only aim in the final year should be that you have to devote 5 to 6 hours daily friends what you don't realize is that the main difficulty in final year is to stay consistent from the month of january to the month of december anyone who is able to stay consistent in his studies will always do well in any type of exam i have seen students who had got good score in the usmle exam also good score in the neat pg exam also and good score in the aims exam also so what really matters is that you get a strong hold of your concepts you read your theory well and you will do well in any type of exam okay so take out this concept from your mind sir do we have to prepare separately for next exam no my dear friends the only difference that you will see is that in the final year you will have to revise your third year subjects also this is the only difference that you will see now guys i will tell you how you will divide your year for your final year preparation see guys you have to study nine subjects in which four will be major and five will be short subjects so what students usually do is that they will try to complete their first read of the final year in around 7 months this should be your primary aim that by the end of july august or september okay so by the end of august you should be at least finished with your first read of the final year okay and how you will divide your time for these subjects friends what you can do is that medicine is a very time consuming subject so medicine is one subject you will give at least two months at least two months okay and within that two month okay you can divide your 90 days or 60 days whatever time that you are giving for medicine into various halves like 10 days for cvs 10 days for respiratory system 10 days for git and so on okay so this is way how you will divide your time for the medicine coming to the surgery you have to give one and a half month for surgery and one and a half month for ops gynae and now you are left with how many months two months more okay in one month you will try to complete your pediatrics and one month you will be devoting to short subjects so one thing that you have to take from this video is that you have to give some time definitely for short subjects the mistake that many students do in the final year is that they ignore the short subjects psyche derma radio ortho anesthesia they will just read 15 days before the exam and they will just cram few points and they will just vomit it in the exam so this mistake you won't do or what you can do is that after completing every major subject okay after completing every major subject you can devote some time for the short subject like what happens in our college is that medicine and psychiatry postings are clubbed together so what you can do in the psychiatry posting you can cover the whole of psychiatry okay along with medicine once you are done with medicine you can jump on to psychiatry okay once you are finished with surgery then you can try to complete your ortho so this way all the short subjects will not be done in a single go okay you can always alternate them with one major subject and another strategy that you can follow guys is that like uh, giving uh, dedicated two months for medicine okay is 
a little difficult it's a little difficult so what you can do is that you can study two units of medicine and then you can jump on to another major subject then again you can study two units of medicine and then again jump on to another subject okay guys so this will also be very helpful because reading medicine in just one go will be very difficult okay and another thing that i want to tell you guys what will happen is that when you will jump to the third subject you have read your medicine you have read your surgery and then you have read your ops gynae but when you will read beats you must have forgotten your half of medicine your half of surgery so we don't have to do this mistake it should not be that once we have uh, like uh, done with all our subjects in 7 months and after the end of 7 months we don't remember anything this should not happen in your preparation so what i tell to students who are preparing for neat pg is that they should devote dedicatedly 3 hours daily for revision okay but guys this won't be possible for you because taking 3 hours daily for revision from the time that you are studying will be difficult for you okay so what you can do is that you can just keep 1 hour just make a routine that 1 hour daily you will keep for revision okay in that time half an hour you will read whatever you have read the previous day and half an hour you will read whatever you have read the previous month okay start from revising just 1 hour daily this is a must and this is what every topper does in mamc and aims and if you start following this technique na you will do wonders you will do wonders just believe me in this thing so now we have formed a rough timetable for our 7 months now coming to the next 5 months what you will do in another 2 months you will just flip through your notes not flip through your notes but basically in another 2 and a half months you will just focus on your notes all the in depth preparation you have already done in the 7 months of preparation but for the next two and a half months your only focus will be notes and practicing few mcqs this is the two and a half month preparation and then your prof exams or next one exam will come okay we are not very sure when it will be held so next one and a half month it will be an another phase of your revision so now we are very clear with our timetable now moving on to the subject wise strategy subject wise strategy so coming to medicine see guys medicine the first question students ask me sir do we have to read harrison and how do we have to read it sir it is a very big book how will we able to complete that book so guys i will tell you that if you have to do well in medicine you have to devote a little time you will have to study more in the final year people study 8 to 9 hours daily from 4 o'clock in the evening they will study till 12 1 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning so if you have to cover harrison uh, there is no shortcut you will have to devote some time and then uh, coming to the q bank and videos for medicine i will advise you that you go for maro q bank and videos it is one of the best q banks and videos that are available in the market now so go with that and how you will utilize that a uh, cube bank and videos along with the harrison that you are reading friends i will tell you what you will do if there are 200 videos for medicine 200 videos for medicine in an app so we are devoting 60 days for medicine 60 days for medicine so in 40 days we will try to complete our videos we will try to complete our videos so five videos we will see daily and in another 40 days we will be able to complete those 200 videos then what you will do before watching any video before watching any video you will try to read your notes you will try to read your notes so why i am saying this i will tell you i also used to do this during my neat pg preparation what i used to do was that i used to read my notes before attending any class these can be photocopy notes or direct notes that you get through your online application when you buy that course okay so just go through your notes so what will happen is that once you will go through your notes before watching any video you will understand few concepts and you will also get to know which are the points that you are not comfortable with which are the points that you don't understand okay so these are the things my dear friends these are the things that you will focus on while you will watch a subject wise video these are the things that you will focus on 
you will get to know ki these are the points i didn't understand while reading my notes and these are the points i have to be very careful because when you will watch five videos daily your level of focus will not be good in every minute of the video when you will just read your notes one day before the before watching that video what will happen is that you will get to know ki where you have to focus then what you will do after completing that video see whether you are comfortable writing your own notes or whether you are comfortable with the printed notes that you get okay both are good techniques okay both are good techniques see what you are comfortable with so once you are done with the video what you will do you will again revise your notes now this time revising your notes will take very less time because when you were watching the video your second revision was going okay and after watching that video what you will do is that you will open your harrison okay once you have read your notes and you have seen the video of a very good teacher it will take very less time to read harrison for that topic okay so that's how you have to go about harrison okay you read your notes first you watch the videos and whatever things that are left okay you can cover them in harrison okay see why you will do harrison now see harrison you will do to get an edge over other students to become a better doctor okay you can get everything from the notes and the videos okay but to get an edge over other students you have to do the harrison also okay i don't mean that you have to complete both the volumes of harrison thoda thoda padho if you cannot complete harrison 100% i am not saying you to to do that what i am saying is that complete 20% of harrison complete 30% of harrison already you have done the notes and videos you can just do 20 to 30% of harrison na that is not a bigger task this is what you will do for harrison so now coming to your surgery part okay so again surgery uh, as we know rohan khandelwar sir's videos and notes are really awesome okay i also followed that during my preparation so you have you will have to do that the same strategy that i told you for medicine and another thing that you will do is that you can always try to look for images from the sebastian for git gut you can do from bailey and love general part also you can do from bailey and love for breast and thyroid guys you can follow shorts so that will give a very thorough review about the breast and thyroid and now moving on to other subjects like pediatrics and uh, obs gynae obs gynae you have to complete your datta no doubt in that and you will be easily able to complete that book in one and a half month and for pediatrics you have to follow gai you have to follow gai and it is not a very big book you will be able to complete it okay now guys coming to the strategy for the short subjects in the short subjects i would just want you to go through your notes and your videos okay this will be more than sufficient because short subject students are not even reading them so if you do the notes and your uh, videos that would be more than sufficient now coming to the question bank guys so the first thing that i want from you is that you should break your resistance of doing mcqs okay you have not been practicing mcqs for a long time if you have practiced in third year that is a very good thing but if you have not so i would want from you is that you start practicing mcqs first you can start from doing just 20 questions of the subject that you have done in the last week okay so this way you will be revising also your uh, topic and sub topic that you have read in the last week and you will be doing some questions also i don't want you to do the questions of the subject that you have read today only because you are reading the harrison for that you are seeing the videos also you are making the notes also so i would want that you do the questions of the subject that you have done in the last week what i want is that you should start from doing 20 mcqs daily okay then you can gradually increase to doing uh, 300 mcqs or 50 mcqs per day and no matter what type of mcq you do whether it is a ratta based mcq whether it is a clinical question that is always going to help you whether it is for neat exam or whether it is for next exam so how doing mcqs will help is that first thing is that you will get into this momentum of doing mcqs doing questions because you are not practicing mcqs for a very long time okay and second thing is that mcqs is an active form of revision whenever 
you read a question and you don't know the answer you try to think about that answer that is an active form of reading and it will help you to consolidate the facts that you have read in the last week so guys we have discussed how you will uh, plan your timetable how you will uh, complete your question bank and videos and how you will go about the revision part so if you have any other doubts do write to me in the comment section below and you can also follow me on my facebook page purpose by himanshu gupta on my telegram channel uh, at the rate himanshu gupta mamsi and on instagram at the rate himanshu gupta mamsi all the best guys